Thank Senator you, Rubio. Under current law, the U.S. is on track to issue more new permanent immigrants on green cards over the next five years than the entire population of South Carolina. The CBO says your 2013 immigration bill would have increased green card holders by another 10 million over 10 years. Why are you so interested in opening up borders to foreigners when American workers have a hard enough time finding work? Well, first of all, this is an issue that's been debated now for 30 years. And for 30 years, the issue of immigration has been about someone who's in this country. Maybe they're here illegally, but they're looking for a job. This issue is not that about that. And first and foremost, this issue has to be now more than anything else about keeping America safe. And here's why. There is a radical jihadist group that is manipulating our immigration system, and not just green cards. They're looking, they're recruiting people to enter this country as doctors and engineers and even fiancés. They understand the vulnerabilities we have on the southern border. They're looking, they're looking to manipulate our, the visa waiver countries to get people into the United States. So our number one priority must now become ensuring that ISIS cannot get killers into the United States. So whether it's green cards or any other form of entry into America, when I'm president, if we do not know who you are or why you are coming, you are not going to get into the United States of America. So your thinking has changed. The issue is a dramatically different issue than it was 24 months ago. 24 months ago, 36 months ago, you did not have a group of radical crazies named ISIS who were burning people in cages and recruiting people to enter our country legally. They have a sophisticated understanding of our legal immigration system, and we now have an obligation to ensure that they are not able to use that system against us. The entire system of legal immigration must now be re-examined for security first and foremost with an eye on ISIS, because they're recruiting people to enter this country as engineers, posing as doctors, posing as refugees. We know this for a fact. They've contacted trafficking networks in the Western Hemisphere to get people in through the southern border. And they got a killer in San Bernardino in posing as a fiance. This issue is now has to be about stopping ISIS entering the United States. And when I'm president, we will. Thank you, Senator. But Maria, Maria Radical Islamic terrorism was not invented 24 months ago. 24 months ago, we had Al-Qaeda, we had Boko Haram, we had Hamas, we had Hezbollah, we had Iran putting operatives in South America and Central America. It's the reason why I stood with Jeff Sessions and Steve King and led the fight to stop the Gang of Eight amnesty bill, because it was clear then, like it's clear now, that border security is national security. Thank you, Senator. But Maria, it, is, it is also the case that that Rubio Schumer amnesty bill, one of the things it did is it expanded Barack Obama's power to let in Syrian refugees. It enabled him, the president, to certify them in mass without mandating meaningful background checks. I think that's a mistake. That's why I've been leading the fight to stop it. And I would note the Senate just a few weeks ago voted to suspend refugees from Middle Eastern countries. I voted yes to suspend that. Marco voted on the other side. So you don't get to say we need to secure the borders and at the same time try to give Barack Obama more authority to allow Middle Eastern refugees coming in when the head of the FBI tells us they cannot vet them to determine if they are ISIS terrorists. Maria, let me clear something up here. This is an interesting point when you talk about immigration. Ted Cruz, you used to say you supported doubling the number of green cards. Now you say that you're against it. You used to support a 500% increase in the number of guest workers. Now you say that you're against it. You used, to port, you used to support legalizing people that were here illegally. Now you say you're against it. You used to say that you were in favor of birthright citizenship. Now you say that you are against it. And by the way, it's not just on immigration. You used to support TPA. Now you say you're against it. I saw you on the Senate floor flip your vote on crop insurance because they told you it would help you in Iowa. And last week we all saw you flip your vote on ethanol in Iowa for the same reason. That is not consistent conservatism. That is political calculation. When I'm president, I will work consistently every single day to keep this country safe, not call Edward Snowden, as you did, a great public servant. Edward Snowden is a traitor. And if I am president and we get our hands on him, he is standing trial for treason. And one more point, one more point, one more point. Every single time that there has been a defense bill in the Senate, three people team up to vote against it. Bernie Sanders, Rand Paul, and Ted Cruz. In fact, the only budget you have ever voted for, Ted, in your entire time in the Senate is a budget from Rand Paul that brags about how it cuts defense. Here's the bottom line, and I'll close with this. If I'm President of the United States and Congress tries to cut the military, I will veto that in a millisecond. There's, look, there's... Uh,